Hello everyone, how's it going there? Not here and welcome back, back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we're in FA Cup action in the third round of the competition at Pride Park. The Rams look to extend their unbeaten run. However, today's visit is Barnes. We'll be looking to knock the Rams off our perch in order to try and cement a place above us in the league table. Now guys, if you want to enjoy this video, then do me a massive, massive favour by hitting like, subscribing and hitting the bell icon next to that so you don't miss out when I upload a brand new video on this channel. So simple and easy as that. 500 subscribers is the mark for the end of the season. So if you haven't already subscribed, then please do that now because it helps me out. It helps me bring out better content for you guys and it also helps the YouTube algorithm. So please, if you haven't already subscribed, please do that now. Derby today, like I said, it's not a game that we need to win. Um, FA Corp, it's always good to get a run around, maybe try out some of the younger talents, um, the reserve players and keep fitness levels up. And Obviously, I'm sure a lot of Rams fans will want us to keep the unbeaten run going, as would I. Um, and it would be, would be a nice win um, to get one over on Barnsley. I don't think today is important. I'd rather, rather us avoid any injuries going into the January um, into the January fixtures. Because we do have some big games coming up. We do have to play Cheltenham, um, who we haven't played yet this season. Because our reverse fixture at home was postponed because of the... Um, of the Papa John's Trophy. So we still get to play Cheltenham. Um, so we've got them, we've got Bolton to play, Port Vale. So these are big games that we um, that we need players fit for and the games that, you know, an unbeaten run would help us in terms of momentum, in terms of getting up that table. Barnsley, um, they've lost a few recently. Um, so they're probably going to be looking to pick a bit of momentum up themselves try and get back to winning ways and try and help themselves uh, in terms of momentum, in terms of um, how, they, how, well, how their team perform and morale and everything. So, um, I'm going to say it's going to be, it is going to be tight and it always is against Barnsley. They are a hard working team and um, they are up there for a reason. I'm going to predict a 1-1 draw today um, and it's going to be a replay at Oakwell. Obviously, we could do without a replay. So I'm going to say 1-1 draw um, to take it back to Oakwell in a replay. And I'm going to say the goal scorer to be Louis Sibley in this one. So without further ado, guys, here's how today's team line up. Full commentary and coverage to come once again on the Rams versus the Tykes. I just arrived at the ground and it is chocolate around here. It's raining cats and dogs and rabbits and horses and fish. <laughs> if you honestly think that this game's going to be worth me getting, getting out of bed at 10 o'clock on a Sunday. God, I hope there's goals. Twenty minutes in is end to end of the minute. I'd probably say Barnsley have had better opportunities. We've had their goal. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on!
That's it, that's it. Let's get it. Go on! It's oh. yeah. so after about five minutes, the bouncy man's gone down injured. Bought a stretch on everything, he's ended up hobbling off with the aid of uh, the bouncy medical staff. Derby won a penalty, handball in the area. Can we make this count? Wait to whistle. Go on. Oh, no one's there. Go on. Oh. Got some fans here. Off time here at Brad Park, Derby won. Honestly, you know, James Collins' penalty in stoppage time at the end of the half. It's been a game that probably is flattering us so far. We've not really been the best side in this. We had a few spells here and there. But Barnsley looked a bit better team in the first half until that penalty. Um, the ball into the box has led to the penalty. Handled by the Barnsley man. The referee had no other option but to point to the spot. And James College dispatched us for 1-0. A bit more pace, a bit more energy probably would have uh, done us a bit of good. But we've not played bad. We've kept the ball out of the net. So far, so good. Still think Barnsley might get the goal in this. Hopefully I'm wrong, but let's we'll see how we do the second half. Come on, the boys.
into the fourth round of the FA Cup after a 3 0 win over the tide. Start captain three, obviously, though. Convincing second half performance after the penalty in stoppage time in the first half. Darby went on to take the lead further on into the game. Goals thanks to Tom Barkhausen and Jason Knight. Solid performance overall, solid at the back yet again. First half, we probably went at our best, it took a while for us to get out of that first gear. As soon as that penalty went in, that changed momentum. It all shifted in our favour and went on in the second half. And we just tore Barnsley well apart, they just looked leggy. They just couldn't handle our, our counter-attack and they couldn't handle the pace and switching of play. Um, that's well deserved win and uh, it's nice to get another cup run under our belt. Hopefully it's a big team like Arsenal away in the next round of the cup. I happily take that away day at the Emirates. I would love that. Thank you all for watching once again. And if you haven't liked and subscribed on the radio, then please do. It helps me out, helps the algorithm and helps me bring out content for you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys on the 21st for Derby County versus Bolton here at Fly Park. This is now signing out.